I got into fishing at quite a young age. Um, I fished with my granddad quite a lot, fishing for roach, rods, perch, bream, tench, anything that uh, you could catch on a float really. Um, did that for a good sort of six, seven years um, and then started dabbling for a few carp. Um, and I think everyone has the same scenario, you hook one and it's an adrenaline rush and then you, you don't go back, it's carp from then on. Um, I've done sea fishing, course fishing, predator fishing, but I always come back to carp fishing. Um, carp fishing to me is a really important part in life. It gets you away from the stresses in life. You get to meet lovely people, go to lovely places, and to have a lovely time wherever you go. Yes, I've been going carp fishing properly since around 15, 16, um, hitting it hard. When I was in uh, school doing my GCSEs, um, when we finished a few GCSEs early, we had study leave. Um, so I used to take the push bike, one rod, net, a uh, mat, and uh, two loaves of bread down to the local mill pond and spend hours in the sun, just one rod, stalking carp from the edge on floating crust. And uh, yeah, that is the real start of it all really. It's going down on your own, making an adventure, um, casting out, catching lovely carp. They're only upper doubles, some of them low doubles, but it really got the buzz for it. Um, just to get that sort of fish coming up, taking the crust off the surface, and next minute you're sort of playing the fish, shaking at the knees, you don't know what it's gonna be. And until it goes in that net, it's full excitement, and afterwards it's a complete buzz um, after you've had the fish. Um, yeah, me and my granddad used to go all the time when I was younger, um, and then, uh, yeah, I've, I've carried that on since and made sure that I always got time for fishing at least once or a couple of times a month. Um, and if I don't, I'm stressed out. It really is that important to me. Um, if I don't go fishing, it's, it's, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm the happiest when I am at the lake, at the, at the lake with my friends, having a good time, rods out, there's a chance of a good fish, and even if you don't catch a good fish, you're surrounded by beautiful nature. There's lots to see, plenty to do, and you always come away. If you haven't, if you haven't caught anything, you always learn something. So it's one of them sports where you're constantly learning. There's no, you can never know it all. There will be one lake you fish, you may have mastered it. You'll go to another one and you've got to completely change your approach. You've got to be adaptable. Um, you've got to be sort of motivated and you've got to be consistent. Um, and I think that is a, keeps you in good stead for anything in life. If you've got that sort of uh, consistency, you've got that ambition, and you've got that willing will to want something that bad, and you're willing to put the effort in to get it, then I think if you pass that on from carp fishing into normal life, you're going to be successful in every sort of uh, area that you uh, look into. And I think that's, that's what's uh, made me the person I am. Um, the people I've met, things I've done, and the outlook you have on life when you fish. You realise stuff's not all about um, video games and computers and TV. It's actually, it's all about being outside and enjoying what there is left of uh, the outdoors.